yo what is going on guys we are back today because it is that time of the year you know every december in the contest we have a big big event and for the majority of this game's life you know it was the gifting event that was always a very big thing but the problem with the gifting event is the shady underbelly side of this community would just use and abuse it and you know once that happens you know we get credit card fraud we get so much bs so you know the gifting event is no more because people just took advantage of it too much and here we are now we have the banquet event so last year 2022 was the start of the whole banquet event i was actually just looking taking a look at my 2022 video breaking down the banquet event because it's a bit of a disparity between you know last year's banquet event and this year's banquet event which we're gonna break down but uh, just one thing I want to actually say again from my last year's video is that I, I like the name, The Banquet, because in my favorite show, One Piece, after every arc, you know, they celebrate by having a big party, and it's always called a banquet. So the name Banquet, I really do mess with. All right, let's go ahead and start breaking down this event. So it's that time of the year. Banquet and Accolade events are here. So Banquet and Accolades event... Get an open uh, banquet and greater banquet crystals in the crystal vault to earn points in solo and alliance events. Uh, greater banquet crystals have a chance to award seven star hero crystal shards and much more. Celebrate those who fight alongside you in many challenges of the contest in an alliance member known for always collecting the newest champ, besting everyone in battlegrounds, or just an overall naturally talented. Let them know with the accolades. So these, these are cool. Uh, I think we saw that for the first time last year. It's cool to see them again. So, uh, you gotta be Conqueror and at least level 40. So, the Banquet. Uh, earn points by both acquiring and opening Banquet Crystals and Greater Banquet Crystals. Get rewards for milestones and solo and Alliance events. Push yourself uh, and your Alliance to collect better ranked rewards. So, for opening a Banquet Crystal, you get 30 points. For opening a... For buying a Banquet Crystal, you get 100 points. For opening a Greater Banquet Crystal, you get 700 points. For buying a greater bank of crystal, you get 2100 points. So, uh, everything like, why is there different prices here? And the reason for that, uh, or like different points for you know, whether you just open or buy, it's because you know, we're gonna get uh, Kabam gives us these greater bank of crystals via milestones, via logging in with calendars and stuff. So, for just the ones that they give us, you know, it's only 700 points. But if you actually spend your own units on them, then it's basically 2800 points. So, it's like a four times multiplier. Um, so, yeah, buying them, obviously, is going to give you a lot more points. So, the Banquet Crystal. What's going to be in these bad boys? So, remember, this is just the regular Banquet Crystal, not the greater one. So, for just the regular one, we got Gold. We got Tier 1 Alphas, Tier 4 Basics. We got Tier 4 Class Catalyst Selectors. We got 2, 3, 4, 5, and... Yeah, 2, 3, 4, 5 Star Signature Stones. We got 4 Star Awakening Gems, 5 Star Awakening Gems and four and five star hero crystal shards okay uh then we get to the greater bank crystal so now these crystals are absolute th these crystals every year are the most game breaking thing possible and the reason i say that like you can read through this whole crystal you might be thinking like those aren't that game breaking so actually, I'll tell you why they're game-breaking after we read through it. The most game-breaking thing possible in this entire game. Um, so let's read through it first. So Greater Bank Crystals will grant uh, three items. So it's uh, gold, ISO, and then like something else. Uh, so yeah, your gold, it can be a drop of 250,000, 500,000, 1 million, or 2.5 million. And then your ISO can be tier 5. Uh, which is the 5,000 worth ISO, three of them. It could be six of those ones. It could be also be tier six ISO, three of them or six of them. These ones are the 17,500. Uh, so those are the secondary and tertiary drops that are guaranteed. Uh, the primary drops here, and this is like so RNG. So let's get into what you could get. So, and the, I'm pretty sure the drop rates will be uh, in game, I think. But uh, yeah, so we have six star signature stones. These are plus five, you get two of them. We have six star signature stone crystal. You get 10 of these. Like six star sig stones, bro. 
Uh, then we have a six star shards. We got a couple quantities here 4,000, 10,000, 15,000. Then we have seven star shards. So the quantities for those are 750 or 1,500. That's disappointing. That is a disappointing amount of seven star shards, dude. Um, like, that's it? You, they're supposed to be like really big drops. Like, for when six stars were like super relevant, you know. Like, this was in there. So, like, 15,000. Like, that's a lot of shards. You know, there should be, like, 5,000, a 10,000, a 15,000 seven-star shard drop rate. It's just, like, a, a way rarer chance. But 1,500 is the most amount of seven-star shards I can get out of here? It's terrible. Um, Titan shards, 600? That's it? 600? Man, it's probably like a super low drop rate for that, and it's only 600. That is so weak. And again, no, like, that's the only one. There's no, like, increase. So, like, if you get really lucky, you can get, like, a couple thousand Titan Shards. No, 600. That's it. I don't like that. Um, all right, then we have Paragon Gifted Guardians Crystal. So, what what is the Gifted Guardian Crystal? So, that is basically... There's gonna I, if you guys already saw my video of the ten new champions added this month as seven stars, we kind of broke it down in there. But if you missed it, basically there's gonna be a specialized crystal, specialized guardian champions, gifted guardian champions as seven stars. So that includes Adam Warlock, Moon Dragon, Shocker, Sandman, Professor X, and Diablo. Six champions, each one belonging to a different class. So those are the gifted guardians. So there are these Paragon crystals, I guess. Um, but then the biggest ticket item, one of the biggest ticket, no, I think this is probably is, well, one of them, yeah, one of them, uh, is a seven star gifted guardians crystal. So that's a full seven star, but again, it's only to those six specific champions. So that's going to be one of the top two best pulls. Cause you, you just get a seven, a full seven star and it's the, one of these new champions. So that is really, really good going to be one of the best pulls um i'm very curious to see the drop rate on that uh all right what else we got here we got a six star abyss nexus crystal we got nexus six star crystal we got six star awakening gem crystal regular six star awakening gem we have tier two alpha catalyst five of them tier five basic catalyst two of them uh another tier five basic catalyst drop with three of them why why is there multiple tier five basic catalyst drops what man oh goodness okay what else do we have we have a tier 5 class catalyst selector it's not terrible uh we have tier 3 alpha catalyst fragments half a crystal then we have a full tier 3 alpha catalyst then same exact thing for a tier 6 we have half of one and then a full one then we have uh four drops for tier 6 class catalyst Three of them for fragments, varying in ranges from 5,700, 11,400, and 28,500. And then also just a full one. So I, the full one's probably just a, a given class. Yeah, all these are just a randomly given class, seems like, the way it's written. Um, and then this is the second, or th this is the other really big one. So this and the gifted guardians crystal these are the two biggest drops in my opinion here uh because you know this one's a full fully formed seven star crystal of those specialized six champions and then this right here it's only 5700 fragments <clears throat> but this is a this is tier four alpha catalyst fragments this right here is what breaks the game this one thing and you might be thinking, Legacy, that's only 5,700 tier 4 Alpha Catalyst Fragments. And it's probably, you know, it's also probably going to be a very low drop rate. So it's not going to be easy to just get that once. Even if you get it once, it's not a ton. Let's, that's like a drop in the bucket of a new rank 3. Like, let's go back in game for a quick sec. Look at my Catalyst here. We can put this to basic tier 4. So, tier 4 Alpha Catalyst. Here, here it is. This is the new big, this is this is the, the, the chase item of 2024 in 2024 we're going to see this item appear way more in content and offers this is the new chase item okay this brand new catalyst so for this uh gifting event you know with this crystal you're gonna be able to get 5700 
fragments. And again, you're going to have to like look how much stuff is in here. So it's not going to be easy to just get that drop. It's also probably going to be lower because it's, you know, the rarest resource in the game. And 5,700 fragments, that's not a lot. Like it takes 57,000 fragments to form one and you need three to rank three a champion. Okay. So you, again, you might be thinking like, how, how is that game breaking? Now, the reason why this is game breaking is because there is no set limitation on these crystals. The only limitation is your own wallet. How much money do you have? How much money are you willing to spend? That is the only limitation. So, and, and I've seen this taken advantage of to like the extreme before. So I'm going to give you the example of that. So there used to be a guy on YouTube named Cow Whale cow whale crystal opening whale this guy like all he did was open crystals like he would spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars every single month you know when on you know, like cavalier crystals back then um to get the six star version of new champs like thousands and thousands of dollars on cavalier crystals again this is years ago so the money made a little bit more sense back then still you know good way to burn your money um spending like that much like you'd only do that if you're like rich you know uh which is totally fair you know a lot of not a lot but some people are in that privileged position to be able to do that and you know big ups to them that's awesome they go nuts you know they're, they're the ones funding the game for all all anyone who's free to play you know they're funding it for uh, for you so i was to say us i'm not free to play no just kidding I, I totally am free to play i actually i have a free to play account so i am free to play i'm I, i'm in that group so, you know, the, the, the big whales, they're funding the game for everyone. So, you know, that, that's not a bad thing. Normally, with, like, you know, spending thousands on, like, for, for champions every month, it's not a problem. The, I have a problem with it when it becomes an event like this. Because what Cal Whale did was he just went stupidly hard, you know, on the gifting event at the time. So, he, he basically carried his alliance to, you know, the top spots. He got the top spot for solo. He carried the, his alliance to the top spot for alliance. And, and basically what he did is he just bought so many of these crystals, like a, a ridiculous amount, and he opened them and opened them and opened them until he had everything he needed. And then what he did is he bought hundreds more and he held on to them for the following year. And for like the whole following year, he would just open them up as he needed to again, get like gold, ISO, catalyst, like every, everything you need. You can literally buy like, a million of these crystals and just hold them for the next year and again if you're buying hundreds and thousands of these crystals eventually these tier 4 alpha catalyst fragments are going to start to add up and that's exactly what anyone who goes super hard on these crystals this year is going to be really going after these tier 4 alpha catalyst fragments and so people you'll be able to see people will will buy so much of these that they're going to get more rank threes like, it, th there is technically going to be an infinite amount of rank 3s available now through this. Again, it's low drop rates, but with no limit on an event like this, sky is the limit. And your money, you know, takes you further. So, yeah, that that's, that's a bit of a problem I have with these types of crystals and, you know, seeing these materials in them. I was really hoping to see these tier 4 Alpha Catalyst fragments in Milestones. That's what I was personally really hoping to see. Um, but, uh, and yes, yeah, speaking of milestones, let's get into it. I've, I've been rambling a lot about how crazy this all is. But uh, yeah, that's just kind of what the banquet event does. That's why it kind of breaks the economy of the game. Um, and once we show the ranked rewards as well. <laughs> yeah, well, so let's get, let's, let's get into the, to milestones first. And then we'll jump to, to ranked rewards. So for the solo event, the milestones here. Let's get started. So we got 600 units. So this is better than last year. It was only 500 units. So this was my video last year. You can see, uh, sorry, with 300, then 200. So we're getting 100 extra units this year, which is nice. So as we advance here, we have a, a five-star nexus. We got two greater banquet crystals. We got 15,000 six-star shards. We got two more greater banquet crystals. We have some six tier two alpha catalysts. Then here we have the deathless guillotine piece. So this is like super low in the milestone. This should be easily achievable. Not a problem at all. Good to see that. Uh, and then we have a six star nexus next. We 
We have a tier 5 basic catalyst. We have a 6 star awakening gem. That's generic. Uh, we have a 5 star relic. We have a tier 5 class catalyst. Uh, and then it ramps up right here. This is really good. We have tier 3 alpha catalyst, tier 6 basic catalyst, one of each. Then we have a 6 star abyss nexus, 6 star awakening gem, a 6 star 6 stone gem max, 200. I've been trying to predict this for like years. I don't think we've ever seen one for a 6 star. And here it is was not predicting it here, but there it is. Uh, and then we have a six star relic, a tier six class catalyst selector. And then the final milestone, this is by far the best thing here. We have a seven star gifted guardians crystal. So again, like one of the top two best drop rates uh, in this banquet crystal, the seven star gifted guardians crystal, that is the final milestone for the solo event. So the units are good. There's more than last year. And the final milestone is good. Seven Star Gifted Guardians Crystal. but and, and the Deathless Guillotine Peace placement is also good. But honestly, the rest is freaking garbage. The rest is hot garbage. Genuinely, that's my, my honest opinion on it. Like it's this is this is not good. This is not at all even close to what I was hoping for or expecting. I was expecting so much better, so much more. Um so my biggest problem, like why why am I saying this is garbage? You might be looking at this like, this is pretty good, man. Why are you complaining? What are you talking about? Okay, well, first let's talk about the tier 3 alpha, tier 6 basic. So there's one of each, right? There should definitely be way more than just one of each, dude. Last year, we also had one of each. We have the, you're telling me. <laughs> We're treating. A year ago, a, one year ago, tier 3 alpha and tier 6 basic was worth a lot more. It's worth a lot more than it is right now. Way more. And you're telling me a year later, we're getting the exact same amount? That that makes no sense at all, dude. It makes zero sense. We should not be getting the same amount of Tier 3 Alpha and Tier 6 Basic a year later. So that, that, that that's a big gripe, first of all. Especially with, like, you know, after this um, Cyber Weekend event... They, they had a ridiculous amount of tier 3 alpha and tier 6 basic for, for spending. Like, this, the banquet event, you know, is supposed to be more achievable for free to play. Like, this should have been, this should, there should have been, like, at least three, at least three in these milestones. At minimum, minimum, it should have at least been tripled. All right, what is the, my other biggest problem? Dude, like, half the stuff in the final rewards here are all six star based. We have a six star abyss nexus. I don't care about that. We have a six star awakening gem. I don't care about that. We have a six star six stone gem max. I don't care about that. Like they're the, the, the six stone is cool. That is cool. I'll give it that. The abyss nexus I have absolutely zero use for. Six star awakening gem absolutely zero use for. Like I don't like valiant players. We don't need this. We we don't need six star stuff. Um, I I, I think these. Going forward, the, these types of milestones and everything, maybe they, they, they start to need to be progression gated, or we're kind of talking about this uh, on Discord, and Karate Mike, shout out to him, he had a really great idea. I, I, I was saying, like, yeah, Valiant milestones would be great. Mike was just saying, like, if there was, like, an extra three milestones uh, that you had to be Valiant to unlock. And I love that idea. That is such a good idea. Yeah, if there was, like, three more milestones here, locked behind the Valiant title, or maybe like two milestones locked behind Paragon, and then a couple more locked behind Valiant, that that, that would completely solve the problems here. Um, so yeah, that's the solo milestones. All right, let's go. Before we jump into the crazy ranked rewards, let's jump into the Alliance milestones as well. Talk about that. So here we go, Alliance event. So first thing, three-star relic, quantity two. Then we have a tier two alpha catalyst, quantity four. Then we have some units, 275, and another 275 down here. So 550 units total. And I think that's the same amount of units here. Um, yeah, we also had 275 and 275. So no increase, but the same amount. Uh, we got tier five basic. We have one greater bank of crystal, four star relic, two of them, some tier one primordial dust. We have some greater banquet crystals, two more, six star, six star shards, 15k. And then here, like, what am I looking at here, dude? The, not even a full tier three alpha or tier six basic. It's, it's fragments. 
What? What? You, you can't even give a full catalyst here? Like, I, I, I genuinely don't understand. I, I really don't understand. Then we have two more Bank of Crystals. Another, a stupid Abyss, six-star Abyss Nexus. Uh, which, again, don't need those at all. Valiant players do not need Abyss Nexuses. Then we have 200 Tier 2 Permanent Dust. That's good. All right, finally, something I want. <laughs> One thing I want on here so far. Uh, and then another 7-star Gifted Guardian Crystal, which we already said is really good. So that's great. But the rest, this is just terrible. Like, the Dust and the Gifted Guardian Crystal is good. The rest, again, it's just garbage, dude. Like, what? I don't, like, 3-star Relic, 4-star Relics. Like, this needs to be progression gated. Like, ah, man. There needs to be more milestones for Paragon and valiant players like this is just man <sighs> wolf this is rough man all right so those are milestones they're terrible what about ranked rewards well those are pretty good as they always are so let's talk about it number one if you spend more than anyone else in the battle realm holy fudge you get the best rewards we've ever seen so what are they you this is interesting. So you get 7-star Thanos and 7-star Kang 11 times. So you just get Sig 200 7-star Kang and Thanos. And then when I first saw this, I honestly, I got a little mad. You get the mythic title. At first, I, when I saw that, I was pissed. I was like, you're telling me you can buy the mythic title now? Are you Are you kidding me? Uh, but as I scroll down, that, that's the only mythic title being given. So it's only one mythic title. All right, whatever. I'm not gonna not gonna care that much if just one. But if there was like multiple mythic titles for sale, I that would cheapen my title and that would really bug me. I mean, this technically does cheapen it a bit, but whatever. It's only one, and they're gonna they're gonna earn it, man. They're gonna spend so much. They're gonna they're gonna fund Kabam salaries for all of next year. So sure, they can have a mythic title, whatever. Um, then we have two to three rank up gems. So two of them. So that'll be two guaranteed rank threes for the number one biggest spender. Then we have three one to two gems. We have two Titan crystals. We have a seven star hero class crystal selector. And I'm pretty sure this is the current pool. So that's nuts. Then we have, this is the nuttiest thing I've ever seen for rewards in, in this game. One of them, that's a seven star Titan Crystal Selector. What? You just pick whatever you want from the Titan Crystal. Wow. Wow. What else do we have? So we have a seven star gifted, another seven star gifted Guardians Crystal. Then we have a 7-star hero launch pool selector. So that's like what we've seen with Necropolis 100%. Then we have 12 tier 6 class catalyst selectors. 12! Then we have 6-star rare champion selector. 2 and 3 6-star relics. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Like... What? Like what? Does one person really need this much? Like that? <laughs> what? I think that's a little much, dude. Like, like three seven-star crystal selectors, a Titan crystal selector, gifted guardians crystal, and a launch pool selector. Like, do they really need that much? Like, can just like one percent of what's in here? be put back in milestones like what oh man it's oh it's so dis it's the same thing every year it's not the same thing it's the same concept every year that you know the ranked rewards and banquet are just the most game-breaking thing we've ever seen oh my god it's gross dude it's gross it's oh my it's <laughs> man like that's so much so much like 
these are these are two things we've we've never even seen before. We've never seen a seven star hero. Oh wait, no, I, I misread that. I misread this one. This is just a, a class crystal selector. Yeah, that, never mind. Okay, that's yeah, that's just gonna be a class crystal like we've what we've seen in Acropolis. That's not too bad. Uh, and you're getting three of those. But the Titan Crystal Selector. That is what me got. That's what has me all messed up. That has me just completely discombobulated. I can't even read properly. A seven star Titan Crystal Selector. That that just fried my brain, dude. I can't believe that. Like, how how cool would that have been for for Necropolis one hundred percent? That that would have been so cool for that. But no, for the biggest spender. All right. So, and as just as you go down, you know, it just gets progressively worse. So, rank 2 is going to have a Sig 100, Thanos, and Kang. Rank 2 actually still gets the same amount of rank 3 gems, which um, I, I, I can't speak for the biggest whales in the game because I'm not one of them. Um, but if I was going to be one, for me, the 2-3 to three gems mean the most here by far. Um, like, the Titan Crystal Selector is pretty damn good. But it's all about the, the rank 3s. So, 1 and 2 getting the same amount of rank 3s. What does 3rd get? Also the same amount of rank 3s. Um, so, yeah, just, just as long as you get top 3 if you're spending, like, that's really what you, you want for the rank 3 gem, uh, rank three gems. But then, as we go down, so 4 to 30, they only get 1 rank 3 gem. Um, let's see, where, where does the... These guys still get the Titan Crystal Selectors too. Damn, where does that end? Okay, I think it ends here. So, uh, yeah. They still get a Titan Crystal, but yeah, the Selector ends here. So, top 30. Top 30 summoners are going to be getting the 7-star Titan Crystal Selector. I can't wait to see just like what that kind of looks like. Uh, well, I guess we should be able to just see it once the, the banquet event launches. Um, but, dude, that is so nutty. That is crazy. And, yeah, as you go down, of course, it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. So, let's look at, like, what is attainable. So, 1%. You know, top 1% is attainable uh, without spending a, an absurd amount. So, let's see what you get for top 1%. So, you get a 6-star Rare Champion Selector. You get a 6-star Awakening Gem. You get T6 Class Catalyst Selectors 2. Uh, six star rank up gems, three to four and four to five. One thousand Titan shards. <sighs> These guys are getting Titan crystal selectors, and the top one percent are getting one thousand Titan shards. Wow, so generous of you, Kabam. All right, and then we have tier six basic, tier three alpha, two of them. Wow, that's double of what's in the milestones. Wow. Uh, then we have five thousand seven star shards, two nexus six star crystals. We got oh another one of those max six stones, two hundred six star abyss nexus and a five star relic. Man, like, uh, just the reward concentration up here, uh, it's just so absurd. I just wish, like, a tiny fraction of this stuff could be put in milestones. And, like, maybe, like, percentage-based ranked rewards. Man. And then the Alliance event rank reward. So, for number one Alliance. Uh, and there's a bit of a shift, I would say, like, one to two years ago. Uh, in like before the Alliance event rewards and the solo event rank rewards were like kind of hand in hand. They were both like pr equally as good, but then they just like hard nerfed the Alliance events like super hard. Um, so they're not nearly as competitive with the solo event rewards. So <clears throat> let's see what the Alliance ones are here. So for number one, so a six star rare champion selector, six star hero crystal two, uh, seven star rank up gem one to two tier four alpha catalyst. One of them, uh, six star rank up gem crystal four to five. Uh, next six star hero crystal three of them. Six star 
Rank up gem three to four, six star hero crystal shard, sixty thousand six star relic. Like, dude, I, I again, I don't understand. Look how much six star focus stuff is here. This is for the number one biggest whale alliance in the game. You think the biggest whale alliance in the game needs six star nexus crystals? You think they need six star shards? Like, they don't. I can tell you right now, they don't need that stuff. <laughs> I, I don't get it. <sighs> so let's see what top 10 is getting. So still get that 6-star champion selector, 5k 7-star shards. 3,500 tier 4 fragments. Wow. Like, you can see the drop-off, man. Number 1 gets a full catalyst. Number 2, is that half a catalyst? Yeah, number 2, half a catalyst. Number 3, a quarter of a catalyst. Number four, uh, an eighth of a catalyst. And then seven to ten, a sixteenth of a catalyst. <laughs> Just keeps getting cut in half, dude. Wow. Like, that's, that's interesting. I, I, it's, it's, I don't get how Kabam just gets these values, man. I, it's like they just pull them out of a hat. It's just all random. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, so here's the Gifted Guardians Crystal. They're going to have these champions we already talked about. Uh, Moon Dragon, Sandman, Diablo, Adam Warlock, Shock, Professor X. Okay, and then here. So the 7-star 2023 Titan Pool Selector. So this is very interesting. It, it just has, I believe, every champion that has been in the Titan so far this year. Because it's a 2023 one. So that, that does get me actually excited just on the, the prospects of this whole item being, you know, a seven star Titan pool selector. Hopefully, you know, we eventually see this not for just 10 K $10,000. Like, like if I had to put a price tag on that, actually, let, let me, let me try to think of what a price tag would be. So like we said, what was it? Uh, top 30, get it. So yeah. So top 30, so to spend within the top 30, who I would say at least 5k, at least 5,000 US dollars. Um, that that's just a guess. I, I'm just pulling that number out of out of a hat. I don't know. That's that's a, that's a guess. Um, I mean, I've been playing this game for seven years, so I mean, it's a, it's an educated guess. But yeah, I, I would say like this item has a, a starting price point of 5,000 US dollars. And that's not even a guarantee you'll get it <laughs> if you spend that much. So yeah, but again, I'm excited about the prospect of this type of item for next year, you know, being attainable through content uh, and, or, you know, just a, a, a less expensive offer. You know, maybe, maybe we'll see that for uh, July weekend or fun in the sun, whatever they call it for 2024. I could easily see this being, uh, the, the item for maybe if you spend everything or maybe if you spend like 15 K units. So just the fact that like they're introducing this, I am happy to see it. Um, and yeah, I really do like that. You know, every champion that has been in the Titan in 2023 is selectable here. So if that say if we follow that same logic for 2024 any champion that is in the titan pool in that year we could potentially have a selector to then pick anyone which i really like because you know sometimes rng in this game is just a b manny and you can't get who you want so, so that's where selectors really come through <clears throat> if i had to select anyone in here who would i pick let's see i would take hmm uh, I don't actually, that's a tough question. If I was to take a new champ, uh, I'd probably take Photon or Vox. Yeah. And if I was taking a dupe, I'd probably take Kushala or Spider-Ham. Yeah. All right, let's keep talking though. So next up we have a holiday login calendar. So December 21st, we're going to get three Banquet Crystals. 22nd, we're getting four-star shards, energy refills, gold crystals. 
some Wonderland Crystal Shards, some 5 Star Hero Shards, some ISO, some more Winter Wonderland Shards, some more 5 Star Shards, some more Refills, some more Wonderland Shards, some 6 Star Shards, some Potions, and 4 Greater Bank Crystals. Dude, this is terrible. I haven't I hadn't looked at this yet, but this is garbage, dude. Wow, man, Kabam is really dropping the ball on this year's banquet event. It's like this is there's four greater bank crystals and that's it. Everything else in here is garbage, and like it'd be nice if they could put banquet crystals on Christmas. So, you know, when you log in on Christmas Day, you got something cool to open. All right. Well, let's talk about accolades. So, collect and send accolade cards to your alliance mates, friends, to nominate them for recognition. If you accumulate five of the same nomination, you will receive an associated profile picture. At 15, you will receive an in-game title. At the start of the event, summoners will receive an in-game message containing one of each of the ten accolade cards uh, to get you started. So, we got the rarest roster, Duke of Duos, Battleground, Bound, Greatest Glow Up, Hard Carry, Natural Talent, Deal Detective, Consumable Connoisseur, Iso Infused, and Gallant Guide? I think I want that Battleground Bound title. That's pretty dope. Or Duke of Duos. Me and Andy should get that. Um, Alright, then we have you earn 50 points for every accolade nomination you send so i haven't looked at this either we got what do we got here we got a greater bank of crystal one two three four five six seven eight nine ten greater bank of crystals in here that's cool i like that all right rewards for that let's see what are people saying about this event i haven't looked at any of this Won't lie, the rewards are underwhelming. Expected more Titan shards and gifted guardian crystal pool is okay. Nothing great. I agree with this sentiment exactly. I was extremely underwhelmed. I expected more. Yeah, me and Pekka four thousand nine hundred definitely think alike. Let's see what other people are saying. One GBC because three hundred units. Yeah, that that's always the case. Um. Sarah245. Wow, 10k units for underwhelming solo and alliance rewards. Yup. Agreed. 11k T3 and 40k T3 frags at such high milestones is insane. Right? Like, what are they thinking with this, dude? I don't, I don't understand. I really don't. What else are people saying? This event shouldn't be called Bank. It should be called Peasants Morris. <laughs> <laughs> Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, the, not the ranked. The ranked rewards should be called the banquet. The milestones rewards should be called the peasants morsel. So absolutely, deep world. Agreed. Agreed, my guy. You're funny. Um, the fact that last year we got the same amount of T6 B and T3 A solo milestones is insane. I hope the drop rates of these resources in the GBC have increased a lot. Demon one three three seven. Facts, my guy. We think exactly the like. How? Are they offering the same amount of rewards a year later? Oh, it grinds my freaking gears, dude. Why so stingy with these beaner milestones? Man, 10k units for mostly useless stuff? Is this event uh, meant to be for Cav players only or something? This is terrible. Alright, looks like the forums agree with me. I mean, if you're hating on a Kabam post, the forums will likely agree with you. So, I mean, it's not really a flex, but... uh. Yeah, man. Uh, the, you know, so... Uh, it, yeah, this is an interesting thing. There are some silver linings, though, I do suppose. So what are the silver linings? The event kind of sucks, so that means, you know, you don't have to participate. You know, you can, you can get your... Your, your guillotine piece here, your deathless guillotine piece, and you can be on your way. And that's really all that matters. You know, pick up that guillotine piece, and that's it. 
you know, then you can just chill if you don't want to participate anymore. Save your units for something else. I don't advise spending units past this guillotine piece, unless you want to. Um, but, like, you can take that guillotine piece, you can chill, you can save your units, and you're not really going to be missing out on anything. So, a silver lining is, you know, you, participation is not mandatory in this event. Last year, it, it, it probably felt a lot more mandatory because the rewards were so crazy hype for all progression levels. And again, I think the progression levels is the big problem here that last year it was so good for everyone. This year it's kind of terrible for everyone. So I think that's why we need progression milestone locks and stuff. And uh, yeah, I think going, I bet next year we'll probably, probably see it. Cause I'm sure uh, Kabam's gonna see a dip in spending on this banquet event because of these uh, rewards they're just not good they're not worth spending as much so i feel like they're probably going to make less money than they did last year maybe not uh oh, maybe not but i don't know that's, that's what i'm thinking um the other silver lining you know is that none of this the, uh overshines necropolis except for these ranked rewards uh these ranked rewards you know make necropolis look like last year's content does it i mean same amount of rank threes at least as necropolis so it's not more rank threes um for this i guess but like the other stuff man like the titan crystal selector like man if that was in necropolis ooh, would have been nuts dude would have been nuts. Or if it was just like a Titan Nexus Crystal in Necropolis, man. I don't know. But, um, yeah. So, like, at, at least, you know, Necropolis rewards and Necropolis content as a whole is not just going to become instantly irrelevant. It's going to stay viable and at the forefront of becoming Valiant for the foreseeable future, which is a really good thing. Uh, cause I think Necropolis is some of the best content ever released. And yeah, how long was this video? 22 minutes last year. And we're on track to double that this year. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. But yeah, guys, I think that's pretty much going to do it. Um, that's my completely raw and honest thoughts on the banquet event for 2023. Uh, that's how I like to keep it on this channel. I just keep it real with you guys. I'm completely honest in my analysis, in my thought process on these types of things. Just telling you, just saying it how it is, how I see it. And uh, yeah, that's going to go ahead and do it for the video. I would love to hear all your guys' thoughts and opinions on this event. Uh, this one might be a bit polarizing in the community, but from what I've seen so far, most people, most reactions, reviews to it are, are quite negative. So yeah, I'd really love to hear your guys' thoughts on this. Let me know what you all think. Are you happy? Are you mad? Are you upset? Are you going to save your units? Are you still going to try to get some milestones so you can get these, uh, you know, the specialized uh, seven-star gifted guardians crystal? Like, that's really the only illustrious thing here to, to really get out all the milestones. So are you keen on that? And again, one one final um, thing is that that pool uh, contains these six champions. Moon Dragon, Sandman, Diablo, Adam, Shocker, Professor X. So if, you know, one of these six champions is like your favorite champion in the game, then I can absolutely see why you'd want to max out the milestones, you know? Am I going to max out the milestones? I, I haven't decided yet. Um, maybe. Maybe. You know, it would be really cool to, to open up some of these Gifted Guardian Crystals just for content. Um, I do have enough units uh, to get all the milestones for this event. Uh, I think it's like nine to 10,000 total or something. So I could do it. Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll have to see. I'm definitely going to secure the guillotine piece and then I'll really see from there. But yeah, it's going to go ahead and wrap it up for this video, guys. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed my thought process, my insight on all this. And again, really would love to hear your thoughts and opinions. So please leave a comment. Let me know what you think about all this. I do read all comments within like the first 48 hours of a video going live. After that, you know, I have new videos that I'm trying to keep up with comments on. But yeah, if you drop a comment within the first two days that I post a video, I, it's a very good chance I'm going to see it and also try to respond to it. But yeah, that's going to go ahead and do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was a long one. So yeah. I, and also, like if any of you guys 
especially with these longer vids, you know, you put it on a 1.25, 1.5, 1.75, two times speed. <laughs> that's totally fine. Like I, 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 I recommend doing that. When I watch back my own videos, sometimes I'll increase the speed a little bit. Depends on the video. If it's something like this, I'll, I'll put it to probably 1.25 or 1.5. But if it's like gameplay, then I like to just keep it on normal. It's like watch and enjoy the gameplay. But uh, yeah, I, I love that function on YouTube that you can speed it up, especially for longer videos like this. Um, and yeah, hopefully this is some good content to grant you. But yeah, that's going to do it. Thanks so much for watching. I'm going to stop rambling on. Peace out.